make a really nice simple dish today it's cauliflower cheese straight on with the cooking today so I've got my cauliflower to start with and I've chopped it into sort of you know I think they call them florets but um, just sort of usable pieces really so put those in the pan okay I've been boiling me cauliflower for just the five minutes um, it's been in a sort of salty water so obviously add a bit of salt into there how do you know it's done? Well, if you put the knife in there, it should go in without too much trouble. But as I say, you're not really trying to boil it. You're just trying to partly boil it. So what I'm going to do now is drain all the water out in a colander or whatever you've got. Put a bit of cold water on it just to stop it cooking anymore. Because as I say, we don't want it to sort of get too soggy. So uh, I'm going to go and do that now. And then we're, we're going to put all the cauliflower into the, uh, into the little baking tray we're going to use. The next thing we need to do, I've got my uh, oven proof tray here and I'm going to use just a little bit of butter and I'm going to run that around. Now we're going to pop in the, uh, the cauliflower. What I would suggest is try and get the stalks facing down. So I'm going to get on with the sauce now and then we're just going to pour the sauce over there, put it in the oven and it's all job done. First thing in, put some butter in. Probably do this on a sort of medium heat. Um, so wait for this to sort of until it's frothing like it is now really so I think we can pretty much put the flour in now the flour I'm just using plain flour really about one tablespoon of flour so just pop that in there we're just going to stir that what you want to do is to stir it mix it together probably only do this for about a minute maybe two minutes keep on stirring it because what you don't want to do is to get the flour sort of brown um, we just want to do this to take the rawness out of the flour really so that's almost done already, Let's just keep the heat down a little bit there. That's it. Okay. So we've got that ready. And now what we're going to do is just add in some milk. Um, add a little bit at a time. Keep on stirring. I'm just going to change hands. That's it. So keep on stirring it as we do this. Add a little bit at a time. That's it. Until we get, we want the sauce to be, you know, a bit sort of runnier than this really. Get those lumps out. In total, you probably want to add about a pint of milk, maybe a little bit less. Do a little bit less and see how it goes. Probably do this on a low heat, a sort of simmer almost, between five and ten minutes. I mean, when you'll, you'll know when the sauce is starting to thicken up. It'll, you know, just get thicker, really. Okay, I've been stirring mine off and on for about ten minutes. Try and keep it stirring so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Now, how do you know when, when it's kind of, you know, ready to start adding the rest of it, like the cheese and stuff? Well, I would say until it's a little bit creamy like this, so you can see it's definitely thickened up, a bit more creamy. Okay, I've got the sauce and I've turned the heat off now. Now what we want to do is just put in some grated cheese. I mean, put whatever cheese you like. I'm, I'm just using a bit of cheddar here I've got, so add a bit of cheese in. That's it. I think we'll have to give that a bit of a stir. So we'll just stir this cheese in first, let that sort of melt. Um, you don't generally want to do this on the heat because I think it goes a bit stringy but you know just stir that in and try and get it all mixed in now the next thing I'm going to add is a bit of creme fraiche so I'm going to add a couple of spoonfuls of that some people use cream, half half cream but I'm just going to use a bit of creme fraiche again stir all these ingredients in as you go next thing is a bit of nutmeg ground nutmeg in there also a bit of cayenne pepper there a little bit of black pepper obviously you can do this to taste you know but I think you want to make this dish so it packs a little bit of a punch and now I've got a bit of Dijon mustard here you can use English mustard if you want but obviously it's a little bit hotter just use less of it I'd say give that a good stir a little bit of a uh, little bit of salt I'm going to add into here as well just a little bit so it's well seasoned might be a good opportunity just to give it a quick taste to see how it tastes for you in case you need to add a little bit more of something okay this is looking nice and creamy now so really we can just put this straight over the uh, the cauliflower and then put it straight in the oven okay I've got my cauliflower back again just gonna add a little bit of salt and then what we're literally going to do is just pour the sauce on which is quite nice and thick now you want to try and cover it as much as possible really, as much as you can get on there. So we're just going to put that all over. I did taste it actually, it tastes really nice this sauce. We've got that looking nice. Now the next thing I'm going to add 
is going to put some breadcrumbs on there. So we're just going to sprinkle some breadcrumbs. And then I'm going to use parmesan myself, sort of grated parmesan. But again, you can use normal cheese for that. It's just that I've got some parmesan and I like parmesan. So I'm going to pop that over. Now what I'm going to do is put that in the oven. I'm going to bake it for about 25 minutes, around about 180 to 200 degrees centigrade. Um, until it's nice and golden brown on top and then it's all cooked lovely. I've been cooking this now for about half an hour so I'm going to pull it, pull it out of the oven and uh, see what it tastes like. I'm going to have a little bit from the corner here just to see what it's like. Let me try the flavour, that's what the important thing is. It's going to be hot. Mm. That is really nice, really nice actually. I'm just going to lift a little bit up so you can kind of see what's really in here. You see you've got a nice creamy sauce. That's great. 